Hello everyone! Oh boy, do we have a gigantic, huge mail day update to get through. There are so many things that I purchased either for the channel to give away, or for just my own personal collection. We've got a lot, a lot, a lot to go through here. And the dollar amount, I think on this table right now, is a little insane. I went a little too crazy. Now, if you're new here, welcome. The ethos of this channel, Pokehex, is to open up all the newest releases of Pokemon and work my way backwards in time to 1999 base set and open everything up and give away all the hits of each set. Now, we're currently on Crown Zenith, so I went a little Crown Zenith crazy, but some very rare items came up for auction as well. So let's get through all the slabs first, and then we'll get to all the insane ETBs I purchased and some booster boxes as well too. So first up, we have, let's do some BGS. We got some BGS 10s. So first on the docket, I like how this is the first card I'm showing. <laughs> I get so much of the nice things. But we're gonna show this. I made a uh-ohs. I made a boo-boos. It's a Sword and Shield Crowns with Friends in Sano. I think it's how you say, Sano. And uh, I thought the card was a little deeper into the bubble wrap, so I get a nice little, nice little slash right down the card. So I'm gonna have to send this spin back into Beckett and get it re-slabbed. That was a nice little oopsies. Next up on Mail Day, we've got the beautiful, the insanely gorgeous, the lovebirds. The Sun and Moon Teen Up, Latias and Latios, full art, black label 10. I told you guys, I was very, very busy on my, on my purchases. This is not gonna be a giveaway item, obviously. This is for the collection. Now, if you guys are new here, any Black Label 10s that come up on the market, I am looking at, I am eyeing them to try and purchase them. Any any rare, nice Black Label 10s? Now, we are in Sword and Shield, so I wanted to stick in the Sword and Shield error, but if any other insane Black Label 10s do go on the market, either Black Label 10s or BGS 10 golds, I have to try and snatch them up, so let's see. But this is a beyond gorgeous card. And I'm very happy to have this in my collection. It's just one of the insane things that I purchased recently. We got a lot. We got a lot to go, guys. Let's keep it visible. Let's keep it visible. We're blocking an ETB, though, but uh, I'll showcase those ETBs at the end. So let's get through some of these other slabs that we got. I did a little purchasing of some double rares for uh, Palde Evolved. We got the Neuvern. Now, pretty cool. We've got some promo cards to finally finish out the Obsidian Flames PSA 10 Binder. So again, if you are new here, what I'm also doing is that I'm trying to build out the complete PSA 10 set of everything that we open up on the channel. So we went through 151, you saw that, I posted that binder. That binder is now done. Uh, Obsidian Flames is also now complete and these are the final cards I'll be adding. So what I'm trying to do for the binders, I wanna space out the double rares from the ultra rares and illustration rares and there are gaps. There are gaps in the binder, so to fill out those gaps, this is a staff pre-release of Obsidian Flames of one of the promo cards. That's pretty cool. This will go in the eventual, I believe this is one of the promo cards that came in the Paradox Rift ETB. So that's gonna go in the Paradox Rift binder whenever that gets built out. And we have the beautiful Cleffa this is another pre-release staff version. So that's pretty cool. That's gonna fill out for the binder. All right, now let's get into Crown Zenith. I, I purchased a lot of Crown Zenith. I think I'm almost pretty much done with the Crown Zenith complete PSA 10 binder for all the hits. So it's not called double rares and stuff like that, but all the Vs and the VMAX and the V-Stars and the Glaring Gallery. I think I need about 10 or 11 more cards and that is done. So let's show off all the cards that I purchased. You have the Rayquaza. Paris. The Keldeo. And please excuse my ignorance, I am probably pronouncing most of these wrong. Zero Aura V-Star. Got the Zero Aura V-Max. The Deoxys V Star. Latias Crown Zenith. 
That TOs, that TS right there. Stoutland V. And again, all these cards, PSA 10, to complete the PSA 10 binders that I'm working on. Uh, Had a Renee? Yeah, that sounds right. Let's go with that. Simisir, V Star. Mag Mortar. Zera Aura V Max. Friends in Snow. Got the Charizard V. Yeah, Crown Zenith is really such a beautiful. Beautiful set. Drapion. Zero Aura V-Star. I've yet to pull this card on the channel. For all the giveaways we're doing. Have not seen that card until right now. Got the Mew V. Pulled this one a few times. Colress's Experiment. Okay. Voltor. Yes, yeah, so this is in no particular order. It's all over the place. Just showing off all the slabs in PSA 10 and Grant. Move on to the next pile. We got Glacian V. This is the promiscuous Glacian, I like to call it in the live streams. Deraludin V Max. The infamous Regigigus. <laughs> Ridiculous name. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, Samo Root. I think. V Star. This is an interesting looking card. One thing I did, I did organize it where I think the prettiest cards I'm saving for last. Or the cards that I think look the coolest. I'm saving those for last. So those are coming up. The Zamanzetta V. Rai Han. Gardena's Vigor. Nice card. Radiant Eternatus. Yeah. Seems right. Zera Aura V. The Puccina. <laughs> now here's a beautiful card. The Lapras. This card's very nice. The really good stuff's coming up. It's not in this pile. The Mareep. The Sheep. Cricket Tune. I think I at least pronounced at least 30% of these wrong. Aracario. Aracario? Aracario? I don't know. This one's very nice looking. The Luminion? Luminion? V. Another nice one. We have Roxanne. Comfy. Leafeon V-Star. Cynthia's Ambition. Rigigigus <laughs> V-Star. Uh, it's never gonna get old. Never gonna get old. And the Zacian V-Star. And right, here comes the fun piles now. Now here's some of the piles. I think of the, some of the nicest cards in the Crown Zenith set. We have the Mew. The Glacian V-Star. That is a gorgeous card. The 
Darkrai V-Star. The artwork on here is very cool. Leafy on V-Star. You gotta love the Eevee evolutions. The Mewtwo V-Star. And how do you not love Mewtwo battling Charizard? He's got like a Kamehameha going on. I mean, that's awesome. Charizard V-Star. Can't not love Charizards. This Raikou looks pretty awesome. Beautiful car, the Zamanzetta V. Colors really pop on this card. The adorable Pikachu card. Radiant Charizard. Gotta love this card. This one I think looks interesting. The Zorark V-Star. It's like a wolf guy. And we got the Zacian V. Very nice. All right, now here come a cards that I have some questions on. And I did a, a few boo-boos. A few uh-ohs. So the first one is, we got this Rayquaza V-Max. And part of the uh-oh is, this is the 101, and here's the boo-boo. The Rayquaza VMAX 101, I bought two. Oopsies. So, I already revealed what I'm gonna kinda do for 10K. If you were part of the live stream, of the Rip and Ship live stream, I already revealed what I'm doing with the 151 booster bundle display. I'm gonna be giving it away for my 10K giveaway as part of other things I'll be giving away and might as well give away some slabs too so you know if I have some duplicate slabs I think I'll be giving those away so there's one but here's the question that I don't understand why is there another Rayquaza VMAX in this set I don't understand this there's two of them this makes no sense to me please someone uh, explain this to me why is there a a 101 and 102 it's they're both Rayquaza V Maxes. Why is there two of them? One has this guy's facing that way, and this one is facing that way. Is that I, but what? Why? I don't understand this. Please, can someone elaborate why they chose to do this? I, I don't get it. Now here come the golds, the Dialgo V Star. These golds are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, these golds. The Palkia V-Star. All these cards we've already pulled for people as giveaways on the channel. We have not pulled this card yet. The Giratini? 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 I think that's right. It's a nice card. And we've pulled at least four of these guys now. The Arceus or Arceus V-Star. And I did another oopsies. I ordered two of them. So this 10K giveaway, 10K subscriber giveaway, it's gonna be a little insane. So there, we got that. That finishes out Crown Zenith. Now we got a little booster box action. We got the XY Roaring Skies. This is part of an inventory I'm gonna need to build up, you know, on the channel. I wanna give away, I wanna open up and give away every set pretty much on the channel of all the hits. So this is going to be the XY Roaring Skies. When we get to this one, it's going to be very interesting. And we purchased another XY Evolutions box. So now I have two XY Evolutions to open up on the channel when we get to them. Very nice. We have a 2013 black and white Plasma Blast Elite Trainer Box. This box is over 10 years old. 
I won this at auction for $2,760. These boxes are insanely rare and hard to come by. This Plasma Blast box is the second Elite Trainer box ever to be made. So they're extremely rare and hard to find. Next up, we have 2014's XY base set. Elite Trainer Box, the Xernus version. I won this Elite Trainer Box for $2,760 as well. And this is the third ever Elite Trainer Box to be released in Pokemon history. Moving on, we have the 2014 XY base set, Elite Trainer Box, Yavidal version. I think this was released like in the same box, like how modern sets, they have the same, uh, they have different versions of the same ETB. These boxes are 10 years old, but they're insane. This is the fourth ever released Elite Trainer box. And I won this one for $2,760 as well. Yeah, these boxes are crazy old, crazy rare for Elite Trainer boxes. And lastly, we have the XY Furious Fist Elite Trainer box. This was released in August 13th, 2014. This box I won for $2,640. This is the fifth ever released Elite Trainer Box. So again, these ETBs are all insanely rare, insanely hard to find. That'll wrap up today's Mail Day slash Collection Update video. This video was a doozy for sure. Purchased so many things since the last Mail Day update. It's been pretty crazy, pretty ridiculous. But definitely my far and away favorite item out of all the things we just showcased today has to be this Black Label 10 Latias and Latios card. Card is, again, just absolutely stunning. You just stare at this card all day beyond beautiful. So if you guys want to support the channel, we have a link in the description down below to be a Poke exclusive member that allows you to get access to giveaways, like being on the wheel every week. What we do is we do Monday, Wednesday giveaway videos. We open up a case of cards. That's so your name can be placed on the wheel that we spin to pick any member at random for giveaways of the channel. And those videos release every Monday, Wednesday, and we have every Friday we do live streams as well to wrap up those case giveaways. We still have rip and ship going on. We have Crown Zenith packs for sale on pokehex.com. So you want to get part of those rip and ship live streams. I do involve the well. And if you guys are not familiar with the well, the well is a collection of cards that either people did not claim their giveaways or are just cards that I added myself. Whether that be from 1999 or from different sets that we opened up from City and Flames, 151, or from Crown Zenith as well. If you guys haven't already, just please... Smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and thank you all for watching.